hope I'm not blocking the name. But all right. All right. According to statistics provided by the Environmental Protection Agency, the average American creates about 4.4 pounds of waste every day. This agency resides in the United States and has the sole mission to protect human health and our environment. The today, hello, my name is Liba, and today I will be introducing the inform and informing my audience with the different actions they can take to better help protect the environment. So our Earth does seem to be getting a little sicker. Throughout this presentation, I will be providing knowledge on the best ways to protect the environment, which include learning about the four R's, the ocean and wildlife that's affected, and ways to reduce your carbon footprint. Carbon footprint is the amount of carbon compounds emitted into the air due to the burning of fossil fuels. This is a direct cause of climate change, which is also along the type, topic of global warming. Global warming affects um, the environment of animals like these. This um, temperature rising drastically changes their survival chances and their habitats. There are many, many ways to reduce our carbon footprint. Uh, one of the biggest ways the world uses carbon footprint, I would say, is through airplanes and air travel, which is not in our day-to-day -day life, but it is something that affects the earth. Some ways to reduce your footprint could be to simply taking shorter showers, switching all your light bulbs in the house to LED bulbs, and walking and or biking to, um, as a transportation, plus there's many more. Moving on to our ocean and wildlife, we can't forget that we share this planet with underwater and land animals as well. So what we do with our waste affects all types of organisms living on this planet. Lots of small items that we use in our day-to-day -day life we tend to not think about later on, but they end up in landfills like these, in huge piles of dumps, or they straight up get dumped into the ocean. It is recorded that almost 8 million metric tons of plastic enter the oceans each year. If you add that up in these past 10 years, imagine how much waste is in the ocean. It is um, sea life that mistakenly eats our waste as their food leads to their sickness and or death. And the food we eat, illness within the seafood, will have a direct impact on us humans that enjoy eating it without knowing, you know, the fish's health condition. Next on, I'll be explaining the four R's of our cleaner planet, of keeping the planet more clean. Reduce, reuse, recycle, and recover. Which is basically repurpose, recovery. Reduce. This basically is lowering the amount of waste products we... Ugh, we use basically refusing a plastic bag instead taking a reusable bag while grocery shopping and trading in our plastic straws for stainless steel straws refuse don't accept unsustainable products buy bulk items that are not packaged this means pick up your produce with no plastic involved at all that's where you can use your bags repurpose instead of throwing away a product find another reason to use it uh, basically means take something that you were trying to trash out or so and look for another way to use it so it doesn't just go straight to waste. And recycle. This is the process of sending materials to factories that we do to re um, so they could be reprocessed to make a new item. This There's many things that can be recycled, glass, plastic, metal, or paper. Specifically plastic, the more, so the more we choose to ignore this topic, the bigger the problem will become. This speech is intended to raise awareness about waste management for all types of audiences. We can all learn and change our ways. There are many tips and tricks you can use to live a more sustainable and waste-free life. Yes, one person changing their habits and lifestyle will not instantly change the world, but everyone as a whole can make the difference we need. The future of our planet is in our hands. Thank you.